Hey everyone, and welcome to DIY with Jeff. Um, today's project will be cleaning out old um, light bulbs that are just burnt out and have no other use other than being thrown away. Um, today you can use either light bulb, uh, the clear or the powdered filled. Um, either one will work. You can keep them powdered or you can, they'll both end up clear if you want them to. The kind that do not work are the CFLs and those are the ones that look like ice cream, you know, so sadly those won't work. Recycle them. Be good to nature. Anyway, back to how we start. In the end, you might have something that could be potentially a vase, or you could fill them with, um, uh, what are these things? Who really knows? Acorns. Acorns. Change, steel wool, whatever you want to do. You can even paint them. Uh, one family, I put it on my Facebook page, and... They took two and made a, um, they hot glued around the edges and made a sand timer. So please, if you enjoyed this segment, feel free to leave a comment below or like it over here or subscribe up, 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 up above. Um, so today, it's a simple process. Let's get started about talking about um, your work surface. Put down a towel to help for cleanups in the begin in the end, and then a simple paper towel you can roll everything up because we are going to be breaking glass so it'll help you dispose of it easily. The tools that we'll be using today are pretty basic. Um, first we have our needle nose pliers. They look kind of like an alligator's mouth. They're very long and narrow and they'll help us get into the base of our light bulb today. And then also any type of screwdriver will work. I find that these work the best though. The Phillips. And then of course, you know we're getting serious when we have our safety glasses on. So, the next step is going to be gloves. Because we are working with glass, there's a possibility that it could um, puncture our skin or who knows what. So, why not take this step and wear some rubber gloves. So, first, choose your light bulb that you want to work with. I've already got one already set up. So, and then we're going to need our needle nose pliers first. So, look up close. So, as you can see right here, on the base of the light bulb, we have a brass conductor. And we're just going to take our needle nose pliers and kind of just work at it until we're able to have it kind of exposed. And then we're just going to tear it off. So then we'll end up with that, and then you're just left with the glass conductor. Place it on your towel so you can throw it away later. Next, we're going to take a paper towel. I know I've already done this a couple times because I made some mistakes in the first taping. Fold it over once, and then um, kind of just cover the top of the bulb. Wrap, I'll show you on this bulb. Wrap your hand around the metal part. Don't apply pressure to the bulb, of course, because it might break. And grasp the paper towel around it, so it'd be just like that. So the top is covered. Um, we're going to start taking our screwdriver, we're just going to, not applying pressure to this, but holding this firmly, we're going to start stabbing this so we can break the glass insulator to get down into the, the bulb to get the filament and the filament rods. So just kind of tapping it, not too forcefully, but with enough that we know that we'll be able to break it. And as you can see here, it's semi-broken, so um, we're going to just take our needle nose pliers, and if you haven't reached this step, continue to work at it, but if it's cracked enough where you're going to be able to work in your needle nose pliers and pull out all of that glass, that'd be great. So as you can see here, and we're just going to take our needle nose pliers, I'm just kind of being a dentist in a way, we're going to go after and pull out every single piece of that um, glass conductor, and it might even fall out. So in the end, we'll have something that looks like that. So next, oh, one of these has it. Oh yeah, yeah, we'll just stick with this one. As you can see inside of yours and mine, um, there's a little um, glass um, filled tube and we're gonna take our screwdriver and gently just kind of tap until it shatters. I was hoping it didn't break, it didn't until it's pouring out. So you don't have to edit that out, but we're just going to take our screwdriver. There's some along the edges, and we're just going to work our... See, sometimes it does happen. 
I've got a backup <coughs> made just in case I did that. So as I was saying, we'll work our way around, pulling out um, the filament rod and tube. And we'll work our way around the, the glass to make sure that we got everything out of it. <coughs> and at the conclusion of that, here we go, you'll have two, one or two bulbs that have the holes in them. So it's completely cleaned. But let me talk about this really quick. As I said, area, you just take your paper towel, roll it up, and your area is clean again. So I've got a bucket. You can use, it's easy if you just go to a faucet, because I don't have a faucet here in the studio. So I'm taking, that one's already done. Taking your bulb, what I just did with it. Oh, here it is. Taking your bulb, I'm losing it, sorry. Um, just pour any type of warm, cold, doesn't matter, it's up to you, water inside, so it's pretty much full. Place your thumb over the top. You can still wear gloves for this part because there still might be water, I mean glass inside. And just shake a little vigorously with your thumb over the top, of course. And then let it pour out and then you're in, you end up with the clear um, light bulb. I might add that you might have to do it a couple times because the powder is kind of sticky and it sticks on there. You might not be able to see it in the video, but it's um, there anyway. So there's one. And then I do recommend even if you have already have already um, a clear bulb, just pour water in it to make sure that it's clean out. There's no glass. So if you're working with children or something, they won't cut themselves. And then simply just take a cloth dry them off, and bam, you've got a light bulb. So once again, um, please, I'm not going to replay everything over again. So if you have to go back, please feel free to go back, rewind, pause, and go step by step with me. I know I made some mistakes, so you should be able to make mistakes too. Um, if you like this, please feel free to subscribe, or at least like it, or comment if you didn't like it. Um, watch the other videos. There's even one about me making um, a cap launcher using just the plastic bottle. So it'd be a lot of fun for kids and annoying for parents. So I hope you liked today's project. Let me know what you did in the comments below. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.